surrogate hands a baby over doesn't mean she doesn't want to know about the family it's going to. I know that, Natalie. But you'd struggle to find a better world than the one those two lads have built. Yeah, and also, you know, most families have complicated setups. Doesn't mean they don't care or they're not trying their best. You're right dealing with this. I'm gonna drop him in town. I won't be long. Mm. Look, my Aaron might have had some bad stuff happen to him in the past, but he has turned his life around and he has grown into the most fantastic young man. I'm proud of him. And, I, and I'm proud of the amazing job that he's done with Seb. I mean, he adores that boy. It's obvious you will love Aaron and Robert a lot. Don't you doubt that for a second, because I will always have my boys back. And there are loads of other people around here that will do the same. That's got to mean something. OK. Maybe I, I jumped the gun a bit. I was shocked at some of the stuff they told me, so I just... I bolted. No one would blame you for that. But they're just being honest. And that's because they respect you and what you can do for them. You've got to give them credit for that. Of course. As long as there is breath left in my body and half a brain in my head, <sighs> I can promise you, you won't find a better couple to bring up a child, despite what they may or may not have done. So can't you just give them a chance to show you what they're really about? I shouldn't have snapped Olivia, right? She's just a kid, none of this is her fault. Yeah, well, live smart. She knows you've been on edge and didn't mean it. Come on. No, Robert, it's wrong. She was right, I'm bang out of order. It's just a blip, this. There's plenty of other surrogates out there. As long as we learn from it, can't we just move on? So for me mum. Natalie's in the pub. Well, come. My grand's brought us to talk to me mum and Paddy. Well, come on, what are you waiting for? OK, I'll talk to them. But I'm not making any promises. Oh, I'm sure no one expects you to. I think this process is meant to take a long time. And even if now it comes of it, at least it'll end on a good note now. Hopefully, yeah. What are you still doing around here? What? Who do you think you are acting so stuck up like that before? Liv, you might want to wind it back in a bit. Yeah, well, she didn't earlier. Stood there looking down a snout at us. But what do you reckon we think of you? Because you're far from perfect. <clears throat> but anyway, we're going to find a miles better struggle than you. Look, Liv, put a sock in it. I was just telling Natalie all about you, defending you, you daft girl, and she was listening. Uh, thanks, Mum. I'm sure Liv didn't mean it. Liv didn't mean what? What is obviously on everyone's mind. Look, I, I know it looked like I doubted you two before. But thanks to Liv, everything's really clear now. This was never going to work. Wait, look, I know that was too far, right? I was sticking up for him, I'm sorry. It's a bit late for grovelling now, isn't it? Natalie said she'd see you again and then motormouth here opened a big gob. Yeah, all right, Gran. She's apologised, hasn't she? Look, I think it's best if I just get off. I've heard enough for one day. Yeah, all right, she might not pick the right words sometimes. But her intentions are all good. Aaron, just leave it. Let her go. No. She was sticking up for her family. Wouldn't you do the same if someone was judging yours? Do you know what? I don't even care if all this is over now. Liv's my priority. She always will be. And I'm sorry that I snapped before. Come on. <laughs> 